What's up everybody, it's Mitsofting. In this video, I'm going to tell you about a few retro FPS, aka boomer shooter games, that are currently in early access, but are well worth your money. This isn't to say there aren't others that are worth buying, as I'm only a man with an average job who can't afford every game that comes out. These are games I've played and loved, and think the small dev teams, or in some cases solo devs, deserve your money before the full release. For the most part, I'm judging these games on how good the gameplay is because, let's be honest, nothing else matters. However, I'll also mention how much replayability the game has, if any. Ultra Kill is one of the easiest games for me to recommend. It's only currently two acts long, but I'd recommend it even if it took five minutes to beat. If you're just getting into the boomer shooter retro FPS genre, it's an amazing place to start. Ultra Kill is a fast paced, sliding, wall bouncing, double jumping, grappling hook shooter with a ton of fun and original feeling guns. Unique mechanics like the coin flip, secrets to find and reasons to explore, gigantic difficult boss fights, and much more are highlights of Ultra Kill. This game wastes no time getting you into the gameplay, and its opening is one of my favorite things I've ever seen. The entire playthrough feels like an adrenaline rush from start to finish in the best way possible. Not to mention, the music and environments are downright incredible. Killing enemies is not just satisfying, but Push forward combat is enhanced with the blood as fuel mechanic. Punching and shooting enemies up close is how you restore V2, who is you the player, health so you have to constantly kill to survive. Don't take it slow or you'll die. Ultra kill certainly is not easy, but it encourages you killing everything in sight. Not only can you level select to replay and find secrets, but there's an endless mode that allows for unlimited playtime and practice using the gunplay and movement mechanics. Next is Gloomwood, which is short and sweet in early access right now. Only part one is available, but I'm already blown away by what they've put out. If you're a fan of stealth games like Thief or Dishonored, you can't pass on Gloomwood. Prepare a carriage. They want us to bring him to the city gates. Level design is smooth and satisfying. Exploration is rewarding. Stealth is challenging but fun. This fish is clearly rotten. And the gunplay is as good as any shooter. Plus, the reloading animations are just plain beautiful. Not to mention, the horror-filled environment and funny-sounding enemies makes every second more entertaining. That guy, he gives me the creeps. First, you don't let anyone hear you say that. Do my eyes deceive me? If you're a stealth shooter fan, you have to play this game. A previously available demo allowed us to explore the city, which was amazing to explore even in super early access. Now Act 1 is available, and it looks like Act 2 will be the city, which I can't wait for. Just like Ultra Kill, Gloomwood is made by a solo dev who's working with others from New Blood, which is an incredibly consistent and reliable publisher of excellent retro FPS games. Gloomwood is good enough to make you want to replay Act 1, and there are plenty of different ways to progress through the areas as well as secrets to find, so it's definitely worth replaying. Incision is one of my favorite surprises in a while. If you're a fan of the Doom franchise, you're in the right place. In a lot of ways, it reminds me of older Doom games that sort of has a modern upgrade almost like old Doom games got an update. 
It has unique weapons like a monster that shoots blood-sucking leeches. Plus your standard shotgun and Gatling gun. The movement is fast-paced and doom-like, level design is unique and interesting. You'll often find yourself stabbing a face to end the level, cutting an organ-like object to open the next objective, and traveling through what looks like hell inside a monster's body. There are big boss fights too, and the final one of this early access release is a very unique fight that I really enjoyed solving. Incision provides incredibly fast, high-quality gameplay, and I can't recommend it enough. Like most good retro FPS and Doom-like games, Incision also has fantastic music shredding your eardrums the entire time you play. This game has a level select so you can rate play the level or boss fight of your choosing. Find secrets, kill every enemy, or just enjoy the fast-paced gameplay all over again. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way, I would really appreciate if you leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more retro FPS content like this. Have a wonderful day, you beautiful person!